name's Ed Dervis. This is 90 Drive. Today, we're driving the 2020 C43 AMG with a 3.0 twin turbocharge, producing 385 horsepower and 384 pounds of torque, and it'll get it from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. And it'll cross the quarter mile at 12.6 at 111 miles an hour. That's not too bad for a little coupe. So with that being said, let's get this show on the road and see what this C43 AMG, it's all about. All right, here we go. Driving the C43 AMG. We got in sports spots, of course, to hear those crackles and pops. This car looks pretty amazing. It's all black, as you saw in the intro, with black wheels. It looks pretty cool. Right now, it drives so smoothly. Give it a little go. Yeah, that sound does not get old at all. Okay. Yep, drop the gears. Sunny and it just howls, it loves to just get up and go. All right, you know, this is you know, we, we drove this car a while back, and um, I just wanted some more seat time in a 43, especially the coupe. I don't think I gave it too much justice over a year ago when I drove it. Uh, at the same time, I was comparing it to the other 43s, the same lineup. So, and I kind of mentioned it was a little softer than I really liked it. But, you know, coming back to revisit, it does really feel well planted, solid. Steering is really nice and thick. You have the Alcaltera right here. Obviously, this car got a couple years now so it's kind of wearing down a little bit you got Johnny Law right there you can talk to those guys so uh, this is nicely a point leather some red stitching carbon fiber trim so let's take it down to our uh, standstill see what she's like from uh, from from a dead stop and uh, then we'll take it through our twisty roads and then we'll do our final thoughts as usual so let's get down to location all right for all the marbles here we go it's quick it's not lightning quick but it's quick and that sound of a three liter 385 horsepower that torque Drop it one more time yeah that's one of the most beautiful things about this car is the fact that it comes with that soundtrack drop a couple gears yeah it's definitely a fun coupe it's you're nice and snug in the seat the steering is nice and precise like I just mentioned earlier it's really feels great to touch this Alcantara it's soaking up the bumps really really well even though it is in sports plus it just it does it's not beating you up like other amgs that were driven in the past it really is well has been really well calibrated yeah it feels great absolutely solid smooth so let's take it down to our twisty and see how she goes around the turns but i gotta believe that the way it feels now just by just giving a little twist in the steering wheel it really is just heading in the direction that you want it so let's head down to location all right here we go our twisty road we got a sports bus yeah turn in it's just spot on it really does feel really nimble it does feel planted yeah oh yeah there's a Range Rover. 
like we drove last week, yep. It's just loving this road. It's really, really staying planted, soaking up those bumps. We just went over pretty smoothly. We got a nice communication coming from the steering. Brakes, yeah, well, you know, they're AMG brakes. They don't really communicate that much. Here we go, this turn where we get some body roll. Not bad. Yeah, overall, it's handing it beautifully. It probably could go a little bit quicker, but obviously we don't want to do that. Up the hill we go. It's got formatic system, so that's going to help us get us up the hill. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. That's a proper sports car, that's for sure. All right, heading back with final thoughts. It, 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 it drove around the twisties perfectly. And stand so yeah, it's not lightning fast, but you know, if you want lightning fast, then you want to go with a 63, obviously. Uh, that, uh, uh, yeah, the output on that car is much higher than this car. But for what this car is meant to just, you know, cruising around, just, it's, 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 it's really, quite a nice sports coupe. The only thing that I have to say is that if you want to carry a lot of people, this is not the car for you. Uh, the, even though it has back seats in the back, they're really tight. And even small kids would be feeling a little cramped back there. But due to the fact you have such a huge sunroof, it does make the car feel a little bit much, much bigger. Uh, the windows are obviously, obviously more, a little bit uh, smaller. So thanks to the sunroof, it does give you a little more room, make you feel like you more, there's more space in here than it really is. But otherwise, like, you know, like I said, driving down back, it just drives comfortably fine on Sports Plus. It doesn't beat you up on the bumps. You know, and, you know, you can just drop, give it a little gas, and it just gets up and goes. You always have that always great sound system from the exhaust coming through the back. And it just feels really, really nimble. And it's well put together. Uh, you know, I, like I keep saying, I, I love these Lucky Terra steering wheels. Even in that Range Rover we drove last week, it was absolutely fantastic. But like I said, you know, once, after a couple of years, they do kind of get a little bit, uh, harden up a little bit. But other than that, you know, carbon fiber looks really, really sharp in here. Obviously, you have the little nozzles on the, on the, on the, on the steering wheel where you can control the different settings for dynamics. You can also control it from the shift buttons down here. But other than that, it's really a really nice car. There's plenty of room for a little, for at least a go away for the weekend for two bags in the back, and that's pretty much it. There's not much more space to carry. You can put the seats down, which is actually kind of nice, so you can go ahead and, and put something through if you need to get it. Um, all right, let's go through or get off the turn here and see how it does. Obviously, we have a. Rav4. Uh, yeah, well, you know, well, yeah, transition pretty well. It just rides so smoothly. It really does ride like a. Yeah, no, no drama whatsoever. Uh, today we are encountering a whole bunch of knuckleheads, so we'll have to take it easy around here. But yeah, if you're in the market for a sports coupe, and you don't want to go the M3, I'm sorry, the M4. Okay, I'll drop the hammer here. Yep. Those crackles and pops just never get old. But yeah, this is a good, like I said, this engine is really like, we've driven all the different, in, in, in the different variants. Uh, of the C-Class and the E-Class as well. And it's just got plenty of, it's just got enough power uh, to bring joy to you whenever you need to stomp in the gas. There's Johnny Law on their cupboard. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe, thumbs up, share the video, comments, do help thank you so much for the comments that have been coming in i do appreciate them 
and do follow my friend JT at JT.Benz and also follow me at Ed underscore Dervis and don't forget to turn on that notification bell ding so you know when the next video is coming until then I can't wait to catch you guys in the next video very very soon bye